everybody welcome back my name is Cassie I'm the evil secret ninja and I review books on my channel and talk about books today I am doing a another unboxing this one is the this one is the unplugged book box so I'll be opening that up and seeing what's inside of that this is the October box now the reason that I decided I wanted to do some subscriptions to book boxes I have unplugged and Alcrate was because I realized I was re wasn't reading a whole lot of newer books and I thought this would give me an opportunity to read some newer books. So that was my thinking as far as subscription. I do pay for all of these myself. So let's just see what's inside the box. So on the top I see says quote the raven nevermore so that's from Edgar Allan Poe obviously so I presume this will be kind of a spooky box since it's October and I guess it's just like a little envelope I guess all right and then uh, we have the little menu that comes with it So this is a book sleeve, I guess you put your book in it. Which makes sense, I guess you can put it in there, then you can take it places it doesn't get damaged. I think I would have a use for that. Okay, so the next thing I see is this little box that has a skull on it. it. Says it is a glass skull bottle inspired by Hamlet. Alas, poor Yorick. Which is a quote from Hamlet. And it's just a little glass skull. Um, I actually have some of these that I put up at Halloween time, so now I have a little one. Uh, the next thing I see says a Sleepy Hollow soy wax, soy wax candle. And it's a little like pumpkin spice candle. So that'll be fun. To say this box has a lot of smells to it. Alright, the next thing, Hallow's Eve Soap. And that's an interesting soap. It's an interesting texture on it. I guess that's so you get a little massage with it. Alright, so next there's this little box. And we have a screw, so obviously something to hang up. And it says... Death is a mystery and burial is a secret. It's a little coffin hook. So I guess you can hang that up around Halloween. I guess I could certainly hang some Halloween decorations from it. All right, next I have, I presume this is the author's signature. Maybe they didn't get to sign the book so they just sent us a sticker with their signature on it. So next, we have some room and linen spray. One could construct a hundred different narratives. It wouldn't make them true. Tonka current red wine secrets. That one actually doesn't smell too bad. Okay, so there's that. Uh, okay. right, and next there's this little card. I guess this is the notebook from the author. Okay. Has a nice little scary picture on it. And then last we have our book and it's wrapped in this kind of flannel. I wonder if that has anything to do with what the book's about. And the book is The Summoning by J.P. Smith. And it looks like when it comes to contacting the dead, it's easy to go a step too far. So I guess 
on 9-11 every year this lady finds tries to find a family who is trying to connect to their lost loved one okay it looks like it's about uh, a woman who is uh, kind of faking being able to contact the dead and she's preying on people who had victims in the towers of 9-11 and maybe now the dead are actually coming to talk through these seances so Looks like a nice spooky book for Halloween. Okay. All right, so I'll be looking into that. All right, so it looks like the pa the wall hook was had to do with uh, from uh, from Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. So All Hallows Eve. I guess we'll put the book in the sleeve. Okay, so that is looks like the uh, the menu is actually kind of interesting. It has a recipe for poison apple cocktail. That looks pretty fun. It also has like a photo challenge where you take you have photos of items from the box and and then like if you're into journaling it has some journal prompts huh well that's kind of cool and then some spoilers for next month so that that is my october unplugged book box unboxing uh, thank you all for watching if you like the video please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one thanks